Hey, Jared James Nichols here at Sienna Studios in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are working on Threw Me to the Wolves Revisited. So, Threw Me to the Wolves, when I first recorded it, it was a new sound, it was a new growth. And coming back to it now, two years later, it's pretty epic. It's pretty intense and it invokes a lot of feelings because, you know, I've grown a lot in the past two years. I've had a lot of time to grow as an artist, grow as a songwriter. But to come back to this song is, is something really beautiful because now I have a different take on that same feeling. I have a different way to express myself on this song. And I think that's a beautiful thing and I think everyone that hears it is really gonna channel that. When you listen to the original, you catch a certain vibe, a certain attitude. It's almost like a snapshot in time. And now coming back to it two years later, it's really exciting for me to kind of pour my heart and soul back into it in a different way. Threw Me to the Wolves was written with Mark Jackson and Ian Scott, two good friends of mine that are based in Los Angeles. They've worked with so many artists that, that I love and to work with them and to write with them was such an honor. And when we wrote this tune, we had it in mind for this epic, kind of like a rock-fueled anthem. And it turned out that way and it felt so great in the studio. Funny enough, with this song in the studio, when we recorded it, we only recorded it once. Like, the way that it came out and what you hear is exactly what we recorded in the room. And that's a pretty cool thing. And I always felt like that's a really epic way to know that you're excited about a song. As if you go right in the studio and you record it. For instance, my guitar parts, it was like one take and we're done. So it was, it was really a cool experience. Um, as far as now revisiting this two years later, to have such epic guests is pretty insane. Uh, one of my best friends, Joe Bonamassa, who's known as one of the biggest guitar players on the planet in the blues and rock world, and uh, he's a huge influence on myself. I mean, when I was a 14-year-old kid, I had you know, a Joe Bonamassa poster on my wall next to Jimi Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan. So to have him you know, turn into such a great friend and come on this track to play, I'm honored. I think it's like a dream come true in that regard. And with the other side of this coin is the acoustic version with Maggie Rose. She is an artist that I got hip to through a friend of ours, Marcus King. We have a mutual friend who's a fantastic artist. And when I heard her sing, which was probably about six months ago, I stopped. I stopped and I do something that I never do. I took out my phone and I started to record her singing. And I don't do that for like anyone. Um, most musicians, I think, you know, we, we are so in our own zone. But when I heard her sing, like I stopped in my tracks. And to hear her on Threw Me to the Wolves, the acoustic version, and to hear her harmonizing with my lines, it, it really like opens the song up in a way I'd never dreamed of. So that's just fantastic. And I think she's just such a, a, an amazing artist in her own right. And if anything, with these variations, two years later on these versions, it shows you the growth of the song and also the different shades that were always there, but now we're bringing light. This is a song that I came out with two years ago, right before the pandemic started. When I signed with Black Hill Records, I had this song and we wanted to record it before my first ever headlining European tour. So at the time I was living in Los Angeles, we went there to record this song, thinking that we were gonna go on this three month long adventure tour go to Europe, come back to America, go to Japan, go everywhere and have this song basically spread its wings across this tour. And what ended up happening was two weeks into the tour, like everyone else, we were sent home and we were unclear of the future of our lives. When I think of Through Me to the Wolves and when, when we were writing this song, it was a time in my life where I was kind of in between a few friendships where I had a really long-standing friend, someone that meant a lot to me, someone that I grew up with. And I basically had a, a, a point in my life where some things will need to come to an end and it's healthier that way, but it's very, very hard for, for you to realize that when you're in the moment. It was a really relatable song because I think that every single person has been there in some way, shape, or form. And the lyrics, they cut deep in that. It's, uh, it's all based around that feeling of, you know, just think of yourself alone and there they are, the wolves. It's almost like the unknown. 
it's this thing, maybe it's a fear, maybe it's something that you've been worrying about. The wolves stand for so much, and I think that it's so relatable that anyone that hears it can instantly put themselves where I was.